base. Oh, we're blowing our lead. How fast is Dobson throwing, Stevens? 37 miles per hour. It's ridiculous. My grandma could throw a ball yarn faster. Back, back, back. Ouch, oh, McGouch, oh, it's a grand slam. The Lawrence Wombats have given up 10 straight runs, and now we'd only buy two. I'm sure Coach Tugnut will have some words of encouragement for his pitcher. Dobson, you stink! Coach, listen. I think it's time for a pitch and change. Quiddy, get in there, buddy. Come on. Quiddy, sit down. Stevens, for the last time, you are not the coach here. The only reason you're on the team is because you have a radar gun. Where'd you get that thing anyway? Got it at a police auction. No, I would have got the Jaws of Life. It just didn't fit on my bike. Uh-oh. There goes another one. Twitty, why are you just sitting there? Get in the game. But I thought you said... Go! Come on, bud. All right. Now pitching for the first time this season, Alan Twitty. Alan throws right, bats left, and lives around the corner from Dell's Pizzeria. Twitty, you forgot your glove! Good start. No, I'll get it. Don't worry about it. Here, hold this. Okay? Forgot your glove, bud. I guess I'm gonna need that. Yep. You okay? Twitty, okay? You're gonna do great. Just relax, have fun. You have nothing to lose, okay? Okay. Okay? Okay. All right, buddy. It's all about you. Strike one. Elsa, strike one. Throw some serious heat. That's the word. Strike two. I got an A minus in English. Oh, okay, Ren, not to interrupt and not to alarm you, but Bobby Diva got new jeans. Yeah, I saw. But they're not new. They're in the rotation. Ren, can you get my homework assignment for me? I have to go to the nurse's office. I think I have irritable chalk syndrome. Um, yeah, sure. Whatever. Okay, I have to ask. Nelson, what's irritable chalk syndrome? While I was cleaning the chalkboard, I breathed in this giant dust ball. You know what? I hate it when that happens. Nurse Phil will flush out your sinuses. Well, let's hope so. Hi. Hey. Oh, bye. What's up? Nothing. Uh, I'm just getting my books. Uh, I have geography next. It's a big world. <laughs> you ever been to Canada? No. You know, our system of government is very similar to theirs. Cool. Well, it was nice talking to you. You too. So, how did it go? We talked about Canada. Canada? Not so romantic. I don't get it. Every time I talk to him, I get so nervous, I just start rambling and can't shut up. Well, I have some advice for you. Do shut up. Just let him do the talking. But what if there's an awkward silence uh, and then... Shh! Well, but... Shh! Shh! So, Twitty, how does it feel to be the big sports hero? I mean, not that I'm into sports or anything. Great game. I actually find this to be a, a waste of the human spirit. You demand. Well, that doesn't mean you can't enjoy it. MVP. Well, you know, I got to give props to my main man, Luke, because he is the guy that told me, you know, I just got to relax on the mound, and, and, you know, I got nothing to lose. That's right, bro. That's right. He, he's the man. Yeah. Except now everything's changed. What do you mean? Y yeah, what do you, what do you mean? Well, Twitty, you're the guy that everyone counts on to win games. I, I am? You're finally in the spotlight. You're the closer, the man. The big papa with the big mama. Hey, Ren. Hey, I wanted to ask you something, okay? You know this Saturday's our field trip to Sutter's Fort. And I was wondering if you wanted to, you know, sit next to me on the bus? Great, great. So I'll see you on Saturday. Well, it was nice talking to you. It worked. What? Excuse me. Now 
Pitching for the Lawrence Wombats, Alan Twitty. Shut him down, Twitty. We all know you can do it. Okay, Twitty. You know what to do. What? Strike him out. Shut the door. Save the game. What are you doing here? No, what are you doing here? Why are you... Why... Twitty! 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 You're finally in the spotlight. You're the closer. The man. The big papa with the big mappa! Throw the damn ball! The ball. Score is Schuster Junior High 29, Lawrence Junior High 2. But the real story here is how Alan Twitty stunk up the field. Twitty, 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 Twitty. Listen, listen, buddy. You were a little off, right? But hey, on the plus side, that one pitch that hit the windshield, it was 75 miles per hour. I think you, you know you talk too much. What? Look, man, you got inside my brain, okay? You messed things up. You made me choke, and, and now I'm never gonna pitch again. Twitty, I just wanted to tell you. Look so good. Guys, what are you doing here? I thought I told you on the phone that I didn't want to talk about this. Oh, you gotta get up. You gotta gain this afternoon. Up and at him. Hop, up, up. Come on, let's get up. Look, I'm not playing anymore, man. I mean, you saw how bad I pitched yesterday. Tweety, look, we can help you with your problem, okay? We believe it to be psychological. Nothing is gonna help, okay? I, I just choked, and now I'm choking at everything. And now I'm gonna choke again at my game this afternoon. No, that's not true. There's a treatment called uh, behavior modification, and it can help, bro. What is it? Lewis. Hey, yeah. okay, to put it simply, good thoughts earn you rewards. A delicious jelly bean, okay? Bad thoughts earn you a whiff of my deadliest, nastiest socks. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> Come on, Twitty, just try it. I mean, you got nothing to lose, right? Absolutely nothing. All right. Okay. Okay, now, now, close your eyes and picture yourself at this afternoon's game in the dugout waiting to go out and pitch. Now, how do you feel? I guess I feel okay. Rockin'. Give him a jelly bean. Okay. Awesome. Good thought. Okay, now you go out to that, that stupid hill thingy. It's a mound. It's called a mound. Whatever. Okay, the team, the students, your parents, everyone is looking at you waiting for you to throw your first pitch. Now, how do you feel? My heart's racing. I feel like I swallowed a pumpkin and... I want to fuzz fuzz Mr. Blanket, which I haven't done in 10 years. Oh, it's pretty deep! Hi! Hey. Okay, Nelson, you can't sit here. Ren, my mother read that the safest place to sit on a bus is over the axle. Call me old-fashioned, but I want to live. Well, your mother was wrong. Bobby. <laughs> Guys, I'm getting lightheaded. Why can't I have a jelly bean? This isn't working. It's time to pull the big guns. Dirty underwear. Why don't you just call your brother Donnie? I mean, he knows everything about sports. <laughs> Nothing in here. Go. Wait, where's the surprise party? No, Donnie, forget that. We tricked you. We brought you here to help Twitty. Used to be this awesome pitcher, right? But now he's lost his confidence. So there's no ice cream cake? No. Look, they're trying to keep me from messing up at my next baseball game, okay? But it's not gonna work, because I'm gonna screw up. I'm out of here. Dude. Goodbye. That was the closet. Look, kid, I had the same problem with shooting foul shots in basketball. 
You know, the more I thought about, the worse it got. I mean, I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep. I got nervous pimples. Oh, big nasty ones. And my coach, he told me that I need to relax. So he sent me to this great spa, Big Al's. Man, it completely mellowed me out. I didn't miss a shot for the rest of the season. Oh, dude, we gotta hit that spa. This, this is the spa? I, I'm supposed to relax here? Yeah. It was nicer the last time I was here. <laughs> I guess Big Al let the place go. I think Big Al let himself go. Oh, it says push here. OK. Howdy, I'm Big Al. Sorry I let myself go. The therapeutic mud treatment is $15, and the sauna is complimentary. Well, that's cool. However, the sauna room is broken. Well, folks, enjoy my country spa, and on the way out, grab a fresh towel and stop by Big Al's country kissing booth. Happy relaxing. So, uh, you want to jump right in the mud? You want to go to kissing booth? Hey, 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 no, look, we're here to pack him in the mud and straighten his head out. I'm not getting in that nasty mud. Listen, Twitty, I'm your best friend, okay? And I want to help you, but you're at the point now where only you can help you. Dude. I don't know, man. The mud's starting to smell kind of funky. Twitty, he drove 50 miles, okay? I'm spending $15. You're getting in the stinking mud! I'm not getting in the mud pit, man. How does it feel? Feels like I'm in a giant bowl of dirt pudding with the rusty license plate in it. Look, in the next hour, just soak and don't think about anything. You're in a place of suspended tranquility. No thoughts, no wants, no needs. You guys hungry? Yeah, I'm starved. Didn't we pass a burger barn? Yeah, I think we did. Let's go. Hey, will you guys give me some fries? Will you give me some slaw? Pickle? Okay, this is the one went wrong. Larry Lincoln sat next to Colleen Rosatano, not Colleen McCormick. Maybe it's this... a simple case of Colleen confusion. This is not going to work. Let's just see. Okay, people. Uh, let's try this again and try to get it right this time, all right? Ready and go! Is it just me or is the whole world revolving around Rin Stevens? This is not about my ego, Nelson. I was going to sit next to Bobby Deaver and I was really looking forward to it. It's too late now. I'm stuck. I... Help! 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 Come on, 
on, guys. Where are you? We're right here, dude. Hey, what's up, man? I'm stuck. That's what's up. Call me mud harden. Well, look at this. Stir mud every five minutes, otherwise mud will harden. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> Love Big Al. Yeah, the guy knows his mud. <laughs> well, someone just get me out of here, okay? I I'm trapped, and I'm gonna be trapped here forever, and then I'm never gonna get to see my grandchildren. No, 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 no. I got you into this. I'm gonna get you out, okay? Give me how you get him out. Um, I would say dig and quick before it gets fossilized. Right. Of course. Uh, Louis, I swear to Bob that when I get out of here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pound on you for about a week. No. That's not really an incentive for me to dig any faster. Ow! Oh, sorry. Hey, don't worry, big guy. We'll get you out of here in no time. I say all's well that ends well. I say we let bygones be bygones. I say, uh, that you run for your life! Right! every single time? Yeah, that is some can you got there, dude. Too bad we can't focus that anger. Here we go. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Two more! Want some more? Happened, but the Twitty Meister is back. Get out of here! Yeah! 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 Sorry, I got a little excited there. Let me just tie Stop. you up there. I'm sorry. That's I'm... your hat. Right, of course not. Why would I use my hat? You probably like yours more. Hey, Rose. Hey. So how was your trip? Pretty good. After they hosed down Nelson's backpack. Good. Who won the game? Oh, we did. Yeah, Twitty got back to his old self again, and he's pitching really well, so. Oh, that's good. Tugnut must be happy. Well, no. Actually, uh, he's kind of tipped off at me. Which is not a big deal, you know? So after he's chilled off, I told him there's this place he could go relax. So he's going tomorrow. Help! Somebody! <laughs> Help! <laughs> 